Hey guys, Monkey the Two, and this week I did not really feel like posting Monday Night Fortnite. Don't know why, but since the NCAA tournament's gonna start, I'll play the games for tomorrow. You can see March 19th, 20th, today's March 18th. Let's review my crappy bracket. First off, at the top we have UCF beating VCU, and of course Duke winning against 16C, and it's 16C, and it's Duke. So yeah, they're gonna play each other. Right here we got Mississippi State beating Liberty and Virginia Tech beating St. Louis. Not any upsets at all. I mean, here is the first upset. Besides this one, where a 9 seed beat an 8, but that's not really that much of an upset. We have an 11 seed beating 6 seed. I put both teams here because, as you can see, the playing games have not happened yet, so I just listed them both. And then I ended up, ended up playing the 3 seed of LSU. It's pretty expected that LSU will beat Yale. I mean, some people think that Yale will win, but I don't think so. I mean, it could happen. Who knows? Right here, we have Louisville beating Minnesota. That seemed pretty possible. Of course, Michigan State's gonna beat Bradley. I mean, actually, that's not all that's gonna happen. Three years ago, Michigan State lost to Middle Tennessee, a 15 seed. So, of course, Gonzaga is gonna beat whoever the crap these teams are. Oh, yeah, Fairleigh Dickinson in the Prairie View. And Syracuse is going to beat Baylor. We have not seen. The Baylor Bears in a long time in the tournament. Like three years, what? Three years? Then they lose Seattle. And then we got, of course, Murray State beating Marquette. I hate Marquette. I'm a Villanova fan. And then we got Florida State beating Vermont. Some people don't think it's gonna happen. It will. It will. Probably will. Of course, we got Buffalo with six seed. They did a great job this year. Beating Arizona State and St. John's. And then, of course, we get Texas Tech beating Northern Kentucky, and here's where it gets cut off. We got Nevada beating Florida, and Michigan beating Montana. Fun fact, Michigan and Montana played each other in the first round last year. And over here on this side, we have Virginia and Oklahoma playing. Once again, the 19 beats the 8, and the 1 seed beats the 16. But that may not happen considering Virginia lost the 16 seed last year. Who knows what's gonna happen. Of course, we had another 12 seed upset right here. Well, she's gonna be five. Oregon beating Wisconsin right here. We got Kansas State beating UC Irvine. Some people don't think it's gonna happen. I think it will. Right here, we got Villanova. My team, Villanova, being St. Mary's because that's probably gonna happen. I mean, then we got them playing Purdue, who's gonna be Old Dominion. Cincinnati is going to be Iowa and play Tennessee, who beats Colgate. North Carolina is going to be Iona, unfortunately. I hate North Carolina, by the way. And of course, Utah State's going to be Washington. And Auburn is going to beat New Mexico State. And Kansas is going to beat... Don't know what team that is because it's cut off. Then Iowa State is going to beat Ohio State. And Houston is going to lose to Georgia State. The biggest upset on this whole thing. And then Wofford's going to beat Seton Hall. I hate Seton Hall. I hope Wofford beats them. And then of course Kentucky is going to beat whatever 15 seed they play. I don't know. It's cut off. And then let's go on to the second round. So, of course, Duke's going to beat UCF. Virginia Tech's going to beat Mississippi State. That's chalk right there. And, of course, LSU is going to beat Belmont or Temple, whichever team. And Louisville is going to upset Michigan State. And Michigan State's going to lose in the second round again. Gonzaga's going to beat Syracuse. And Florida State's obviously going to beat Murray State, because Murray State's 12 and Florida State's 4. Buffalo is going to be Texas Tech. This one is probably going to be the trickiest game they'll have besides Gonzaga. If Gonzaga makes it that far, because they usually choke. Of course, Nevada upsets Michigan. Very surprising. So Michigan's been pretty good this year. They actually beat my team going over by 27 early in the year. But that was early in the year. They probably are bad now. But of course, Nevada beats Michigan. I already said that. Let's move on. Virginia is going to beat Oklahoma. Oregon! Surprisingly, it's going to be Kansas State. This time, the 12 does beat the 4. Oregon moves on. Villanova beat Purdue, which is probably going to be expected. I mean, a lot of people don't think so, but I expect it from them. I expect they would do it. Tennessee beats Cincinnati. No upsets there. Sorry if I disappointed you. Unlike the 16 seed winning, Utah State could actually beat North Carolina. Kansas beats Auburn. And then Iowa State beats Georgia State. That one's pretty obvious that it was going to happen. Kentucky beats Wofford, which is probably going to happen. Alright, let's see. Duke beats Virginia Tech. Louisville beats LSU. That's actually going to be pretty surprising. That's pretty, that would be pretty surprising if it actually happened. And of course, Gonzaga beats Florida State. 
And Buffalo beats Nevada, because Nevada's lower seed than them. Virginia beats Oregon. 1v12. Obviously, the one's gonna win. And then Villanova beats Tennessee. That one's another... That's quite an upset right there, considering Tennessee's been good all year. Kansas beats Utah State. I know, little Cinderella team. Loses to the four seed. Loses to the powerhouse, Kansas. They haven't been good this year, considering they were four seed. And then Kentucky beats Iowa State. Let's move on to the lead eight. See what happens. Duke makes it to the final four. Buffalo makes it to the final four after they beat after they beat Gonzaga. Villanova beats Virginia and makes it to the final four. And Kansas beats Kentucky and makes it to the final four. And Villanova and Kansas have a rematch. I know this part isn't filled in, but it's filled in now. This will be Duke, this will be Villanova, and Villanova wins it all. That's my bracket. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my stream tomorrow night.